Here we are with Gleipnir episode 4. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. How will she react when she sees that Claire's inside? Yeah, what happened with him? <laughs> Is he still alive? I mean, I guess so, right? What is she pissed about? <laughs> Dude, I'm confused. Like, did Shuichi feel that? That his head is basically ripped off? I thought... I'm a bit surprised that... His head can be ripped off so easily. Because before, when we fought the other girl, he, sheem, uh, he seemed a bit more uh, durable, right? So, um, I, but I mean, <clears throat> he has to be fine, right? Otherwise, main character dead. <laughs> it's the fourth episode, so yeah, obviously, I guess he's fine, right? He must be. Um, so how does that work, that his head can be ripped off and he's fine? Maybe they saw him together, uh, uh, sue him together again. <laughs> um, and yeah, why is, I guess, Claire is shocked that if that's her sister that she reacted maybe that way and ripped off his head or whatever. But why is Claire now mad because she wants to kill her because of her parents or maybe because she ripped uh, Shuichi's head off? <laughs> and yeah, so very interested to see what's going on now. <laughs> no reaction from her. Like only Chan. This is very weird. Okay, she knows her at least, but this is the sister? Okay, this is sister. I'm sorry. It was just the face of Claire in the costume. <laughs>
I guess I will edit the face in. In the reaction. <clears throat> so. So she gave her a coin now. So that she can use a coin for whatever reason. To get powers or whatever. And she wants to protect Claire now. And she killed her parents because they were bad. And because Claire said that she wants to kill them. <clears throat> Killing herself. <laughs> I'm fine. Which is also confusing that she wanted to be, that the sister wanted to be, meet Ch Chuichi in the costume or whatever, and now she just leaves without, without doing anything. <clears throat> Booba, I'm still confused. Here's a boy reading manga. Is this a real manga or is this like some fake stuff? Oh, can they fix him with the coin maybe? Oh, that's what maybe the coin is for. No shit, he can talk. <laughs> Dude, that was T is pretty good. I guess he has no other choice. Yeah. <laughs> so he would be basically headless, right? And that if he does it like this. It's getting hot. <laughs> God damn. Okay. How does this real body look like? 
I guess he said it's not static. <laughs> but still, I have some urges. <laughs> Of course, oh, in his balls. <laughs> I'm not a bad alien. <laughs> What did you say? Oh, is he copying her looks? Oh. He can't turn into all might. <laughs> Hey, even undressed? Oh, completely undressed. But the voice. Oh, she picks up on it. He desired this form? Yeah, she desired it. Oh, his neck, he has a scar. Oh, Claire looks gloomy in the back, but he has a scar. Oh, that's why he likes him. I thought I lost you. So they are the coins. That's very interesting. That's what gatherers are.
Or is it maybe going to the direction of maybe reviving her parents or something? So another transformation, a bigger one, a better one. <clears throat> yep, the sister. <laughs> I mean, didn't she figure that out already? Yeah, she mentions the gatherers. Which is still confusing. But that's why she knew about the gatherers, because he mentioned it probably. Just in the shirt. <laughs> Two weeks already, damn. Because now she has Dewey G. I found my place in the world inside you. Right, that's what I wanted to say. She doesn't need power, she can go inside him. But if she had powers, then she wouldn't have to rely on him. Is someone... seeing the scar? I don't need him anymore. Mm hmm did, did we have another time skip? Something? Because he seems different, right? Smells clear. Mifuno, okay. Not clear. No one notices the scar on his neck.
And what if you are the bad guy? I mean, she saw him, right? When he, when Claire kicked him off the building. I wonder if it just affects this town or like more. Ah, <laughs> I don't know about that one. I mean, that didn't help them against the sister, right? <laughs> I mean, they have one more coin. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I think it was very interesting, the whole backstory with the aliens, that they were on their way to their planet and then something happened. I don't... What did they say? Let me check, maybe. Uh, what did they say happened? Where is it? 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 Ah, oh, there it is. Um, the spaceship were down, so it just broke, and they had to land here basically, <clears throat> and they transformed their bodies or whatever. I mean, he said they don't have static bodies. But so basically they transformed themselves into data and took the form of these coins. Makes me wonder why is he no coin, right? Why are the others coins? Um, and yeah, obviously it seems like they can't transform back at will. Maybe they need some technology to be able to transform back from these coins to their original forms, which means they can't do it right now, I guess, because I guess they don't have the technology and the ship is broken anyway, right? <clears throat> <laughs> and so yeah he basically started this whole thing someone had to start it right someone had to find a coin and by coincidence i guess find the vending machine or maybe he found someone and made gave the person he found maybe the attention towards it like he maybe saw someone and is like here i have a coin for you do you want something from this vending machine and then maybe he explained it to someone I don't know how. I mean, we don't know how it started, right? It had to start somehow. But yeah, now he has people working basically as gatherers that collect these coins so that he gets his brethren back. And that's why he checked with the smartphone if he can maybe pay, take a picture of the coin, right? So that he get more people, um, so that he can get more attention towards it, right? So that more people can help him find the coins. But yeah, so. You have the coins, and it makes me wonder, you, you you use those coins on the vending machine, and then you get a drink. I wonder if there are, like, different drinks, or just one drink, because, one, we know that the drinks can give you transformation powers, but two, we also know that the drink can help attach the hat back, in this example we had now, right? So it makes me wonder, are those different drinks, like one for transformation, one for, like, reattaching body parts or something or is it like just one drink and it's all based on your desire basically like if you have the desire to transform then you can get powers and if you have the desire to reattach your head or something then it can reattach your head basically in this scenario very interesting how this works i'm wondering um i guess that's not very important right <laughs> it's just something that i'm that i think is interesting um if we would know that maybe maybe we will find out at some point um, and so yeah, gatherers find coins and 
if you find coins, you can collect a hundred to get something super amazing. He just gave the example of getting some crazy transformation power or something, but maybe you can get something else, right? If you have a different desire, we don't know yet how, what you could get, right? Exactly for the hundred coins. And what if you don't want the hundred coins? What do you use all these coins for? If you don't get a hundred, maybe you just find 10 and then you don't find any coins anymore. What can you do with those coins? Getting one transformation after another, can you have multiple transformations? Or what? <laughs> right? So that's also like interesting to know what can you do with those coins if you don't get a hundred, right? Um and so yeah, I guess um we don't know if Suichi and Claire are doing the hundred coin challenge, right? If they started to are now gatherers, right? I think they didn't say that. Um, I guess they do it, but we don't know if they have like a specific goal, right? I I thought maybe that one of the like the hundred coins could maybe be used to revive Claire's parents. If, she, if that's maybe the goal for her, right? Getting hundred coins, getting parents back, but maybe she doesn't want that anymore. I don't know. Or maybe I thought that maybe the goal could be that maybe with hundred coins, Shuichi could maybe get back to be a normal human, right? Not being able to transform anymore. But <clears throat> I mean, if he has full control over transformation, all that stuff, it makes no difference if he can transform or not, right? <clears throat> if he doesn't want to transform and he has control over it, then he doesn't have to, right? So I, I feel like that's also not really a good incentive. <clears throat> so yeah we don't know what the goal is we don't know if they want to get the 100 coins or not um and so yeah then we have the whole part with the sister basically which i think is super confusing because she turned juichi into the monster costume right um it seems like she did it on purpose, right? That it's not randomly went to someone. But she said she wants to meet someone. It's a question, did she want to meet Chuichi or did she want to meet the costume, right? And like I said, we don't know if it's like specifically if she chose him specifically or just it happened to be someone random. Um, It sounds like as if she took picked him by choice, right? But it seems like he doesn't know her, so why him? And yeah, then she is like completely like shocked that she ripped off his head. Um in in her anger basically that, that someone was inside him. <laughs> um because she wants him all for him for herself, basically. And that's the weird part, right? She wanted to meet him and she was really pissed that someone was inside him. And then she ripped off his head, was shocked that she did it in her anger, basically, and was sorry for it. Um, and then she saw that it was clear. Then they talk and she gets a call, which I think maybe are some different gatherers she works together with, right? And then she just puts down the head and leaves just like that nothing about Shuichi. I guess she maybe knew that she could use a coin to fix him. Um, but yeah, very interesting how quickly her mood changed and that she just drops him there and goes away, right? When she is so obs obsessed with him, right? Wanting to be the only one that can be inside him or have him or whatever. So now she said that she wants to protect Claire when before she just left her. That's like the weird part right now, the whole sister thing. It's a bit confusing, right? It seems a bit all over the place. So I guess we get more information about it at some point, right? Um, but yeah, it seems so far a bit weird how this whole thing played out. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm wondering, I can't recall what the other girl that we met in episode one or two, two, episode two, 
end of episode one, episode two, when they fought, I don't remember exactly what she said. She said something about gatherers, right? I think Claire mentioned the coin, and she said then, oh, so you are gatherers too, so I have to, so I fight you all, or I kill you all, or something. Maybe it was because she wanted the coin for herself, and so she w was, and she said like there are mo there are more of you guys or something, right? So maybe gatherers work in groups, maybe. I mean, cl maybe Claire's sister works with others, right? So maybe they are in groups. Um, and I guess the fighting part that she wants to fight them or kill them or whatever is maybe because she wants the coin for herself, right? So that's why she would fight them um, if she has to, to get the coin from them, basically. <clears throat> I guess that's the thing, right? Um, if you have coins and there are other gatherers, then they will maybe start a fight, try to kill you maybe to get the coins for themselves, right? Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty interesting, this whole thing. Reminds me really like, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> Yeah, it gives me really some uh, more Mira Nikki vibes, right? Just that you don't have a god here, but like an alien. But basically, you have like killers that fight each other so that they can get the coins to get their wish granted, basically, right? While in Mira Nikki, it's like. You fight each other so that the last one that is standing basically becomes a new god, right? <clears throat> Not quite exactly the same, but similar, right, I would say. Um, and I think it's also interesting that Claire really meant what she said, right? I mean, she really likes Shuichi, right? When she thought that he was dead, she was ready to kill herself. Um, so... It wasn't just a lie, like, oh yeah, I kill myself when she jumped down the, the second floor or whatever, and he, uh, Chuichi, uh, 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 catched her fall. It wasn't just because she knew, oh, he will catch me, and it just to prove that I really mean it to maybe, uh, just use him, right? Because I said that, that maybe she just did all that stuff to convince him that she means it really. But she knew that Juichi would catch her fall, right? Um, and ultimately she would just want to use him as a tool for her own goals. But now with this episode, I think it gets clear that she really means it, right? If he dies, she will kill herself. And she really starts to like him by now, right? So that's interesting. like to see it. And yeah, I mean, I guess that's pretty much... For this episode, right? Lots of stuff happened. Lots to talk about. Very interesting stuff. Very confusing stuff still. So yeah, can't wait to see where that is going all. And to find out more. And to see where it's going. How many people we have to fight and stuff. See other gatherers maybe. And get all the other information. But yeah, that's the episode. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.